right, folks, today we're going to do a little boat tour. As many of you know, I have become a yacht sales person for Infinity Yacht Sales. Infinity Yacht Sales headquartered in San Diego, and I'm the Newport Beach representative. So I'm hoping to, you know, implement some of this into my channel where I'm showing you some of the new boats we've listed. This week we've just listed this boat, a 2017 Jeannot Mary Fisher Offshore 895. So I'm going to show you some of the features of that boat. And many of you that watch my channel, you're into sailing, so you obviously know the Jeannot name from sailing, a very famous sailboat company out of France. But did you know that they also have had a long line of powerboats? And a lot of their powerboats are very similar to what we're going to look at today, the same size and layout. And it was in the 1950s that Jeannot started, and they actually started with small powerboats, little, very little tiny uh, motorboats. And in the 1960s, they uh, created their first sailboat, and they became known more and more for sailing. But throughout that time, they have had a nice sprinkling of powerboats in their, in their lineup. And actually, a little piece of trivia for you. Did you know that in 1985, Jeannot started Lagoon Catamaran? So Lagoon is actually under Jeannot. And then another little piece of trivia for you. In 1995, Jeannot was bought out by Beneteau. So Beneteau is the umbrella group. Jeannot, Lagoon are under the Beneteau group. Also something to note that even though it's a French company, in 2017, Jeannot opened up a powerboat uh, facility, uh, boatyard, in Cadillac, Michigan, where they started creating these boats here, the 895. So let's jump aboard and check out some of the features. All right, here's the exterior of the vessel. Starting with the bow of the boat, you see a nice sun area right there with some nice cushions. Anchor, we have a electric windlass in there in the anchor storage locker area. Walking around the vessel, you've got your radar on top you can see there. Let's step back. But I just, I do like this bow where it's really an open space for laying out and kind of leisure cruise around the harbor, especially here in Newport Beach. It's just over 29 feet in length. The beam is just under 10 feet. Let's walk back to the cockpit. You'll see it is really set up nicely for whether it's pleasure, whether it's fishing. They have a added extra there, which is a, a bait tank, a large bait tank there with a lot of the fishing rod holders. You have two 200 horsepower Yamaha outboards, so that gives it 400 horsepower. Nice little swim platform with a telescoping ladder coming off the back of the boat there. So here, you've got your freshwater shower. So when you jump on board from the swim platform, you can rinse off. You can also rinse off your fishing gear or other gear uh, with fresh water. You got a gate that closes there for safety. Got a lot of nice features, cup holders. I've got the cushions out right now. Like I said, a large bait tank. There you go around the sides of the boat there to get up to the bow. This boat is called Real Estate. So the owner likes to do a lot of fishing. So you've also got a lot of storage under these. Look up these cushions. You have a full amount of storage there. See if you can kind of get a visual there. Same goes for under that cushion. There's a large storage locker. Let's take a look inside the cabin, but what I want to show you is the difference. So look here. You see all these curtains up and how dark it is. Let me show you what it looks like without the curtains. So now take a look at this vessel. Really opens it up with the windows. Everywhere around the entire wheelhouse is, is a huge window area, and a lot of these things can be open for airflow. You can see that opens all the way there. There's a passageway there that opens and that allows you to walk along the deck up to the bow. So let's just start looking around here and see what features we have. All kinds of electronics. Like I said, we have the radar, there's autopilot, there's a bow thruster. You've got your controls for the dual engines. So all kinds of Electronics and upgrade, uh, upgrades. Let's just spin around right here. And this all, actually all this stuff, these extras come with the boat. Coffee maker, ice maker. Below we have all kinds of storage. We also have a microwave down there. A little refrigerator right here. And then under this, I don't want to lift it up just because this stuff's on there, but if you lift this up, 
under that is actually a sink right here and a two burner stove top right there. So that is what you have here in your kind of your mini galley area. We've got a nice seating area there. This table would be removable if you want some extra leg room there. And then looking back again from the captain's chair here at the helm, look back into the cockpit. Completely opens up with this sliding door. Got your large bait tank. Oh, little feature I forgot to mention that was quite interesting. Come back out here. So this seating area here actually is on a rail system. So when you put your engines in the water, this whole seating area goes back. You push it back and that gives you an extra, let's see, what is that? It's, it's about 16 inches. It goes back about 16 inches. As you can see, kind of even with that area right there. Once these large outboards go down into the water, you also have on the other side, port side, there is another swim platform there as well. And also the power inlets for your shore power. Again, the cockpit, but let's go back into the main part of the cabin. You've actually got your, you've got air conditioning and heating under that seat there. So that's a unique feature, your full air conditioning and heating on this boat. Another couple of cool features in the main wheelhouse up here. You've got huge, I guess, sunlights or panoramic sunroof up here that you can actually, you can have curtains there that close, but you also have, they open like this and you can actually open it for airflow. All right, so you get that on both sides. You have a surround sound system everywhere you look. You have speakers. That's going to be controlled here at the helm station. You've got a nice fusion stereo there that has a, a setup for a Sirius XM. And then here, like I said before, you have all of your chart plotter and other. This is a Simrad. All the electronics, navigation equipment. So let's go below and we'll check out the two cabins that are on this boat. You got two steps down right here. You've got your forward cabin here. A lot of space there. The bed there, nice windows throughout. Quite a bit of storage as well. Under the bed storage. This is a storage closet. There. There's some extra cushions for the cockpit and hardware for the bimini cover as well. Looking here on the starboard side, you have a head with a modern electric flushing toilet. Got your sink there, a lot of light from these windows here. And you can use this as your shower as well, standing there with a drain. And you would use that as your showering location there. We'll step out of the head now and into the port side cabin. Now this is actually pretty interesting. Look how huge this is. So you've got a full bed there. It's actually got quite a bit of space some storage there. Obviously the owner has a bunch of store items stored here, but this is a good size cabin when you go on a little trip with your family over to Catalina. And just to show you here, goes the full beam of the boat. Quite expansive. And I'm actually going to lay down here right now, but there's a full uh, window that's on the curtains are the curtains are closed now, but there's the full window the entire length of this cabin. So it's quite, uh, quite spacious. And that was our tour of the 2017 Jeannot Mary Fisher Offshore 895. So kind of fun there. I think it was kind of interesting to see a new type of boat. I'm used to doing, like I said, the sailboats. So it's interesting even to learn about Jeannot in the powerboat world and to see this type of powerboat. I think it's this particular boat is really the perfect layout for this area here in Southern California because you can cruise the harbor here in Newport Beach, which is kind of the most popular thing to do. Uh, you can set up on the bow, uh, enjoy a couple of other couples with you and enjoy 
uh, you know, having some wine, little sunset cruise, but it's also uh, versatile where it will actually host, you know, a group of people going fishing, uh, has a lot of the accommodations for fishing, but also has great uh, space in the cabins for a family that wants to go to Catalina for the weekend. There's a, plenty of sleeping room for a small family and it would be very comfortable for a weekend staying on this boat. So really a lot of cool features, I think, on this on this particular size of vessel. Um, not too big to handle, but also not so small where it doesn't have some of these other features that you need when you're gonna do something like a weekend trip or a fishing trip. I will definitely put the listing below in the description so you can see the full list of features and any details that I didn't cover in this little tour. I will put those in the description below with the link to the to the listing that's on the Infinity Yacht Sales website, infinityyachtsales.com. Uh, there's also you could also find the boat on Yacht World. The price will also be listed on the website as well. And that's about it. So thanks for watching. See you next time.